confidence. That's what a recent vote by members of the Deputy Sheriff's Association of Bear County revealed. But only a small percentage of members actually participated in that vote. The night team's Tim Gerber breaks down the vote, the reasons for it, and he has a response tonight from the Sheriff's Office. Expected about, about this type of turnout. And I said, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. DSABC President Juan Contreras not surprised by the low turnout by his members in a recent online vote of no confidence for Sheriff Susan Pomerlo. Of the 1,173 uniform members, only 244 participated in the vote. Contreras said only 682 members were actually registered on the website where those votes were cast. Historically, have had very little participation when it comes to voting through the website. Um, and when you get 36% of your registered uh, people on the website vote. Uh, I'm very optimistic. According to Contreras, 219 members voted they had no confidence in Pomerlo, while 25 gave the sheriff a vote of confidence. Contreras said other reasons for the low turnout were fears of retaliation and the fact the association has already backed Javier Salazar for sheriff in the upcoming election. Some of the, my members uh, told me personally that they didn't feel that they needed to vote because the endorsement alone was a vote of no confidence to them. Contreras said the vote had nothing to do with the ongoing contract negotiations with the sheriff. He said members asked for the vote so they could voice their concerns. He cited low morale, high turnover, and a lack of support from the sheriff and her administration, which he says leads to deputies second guessing themselves because they fear discipline. We just want to be treated fairly. And the sheriff's office pretty quick to respond to those vote totals by the DSABC membership in a press release this afternoon, which I'll read a portion of to you here. They said, quote, while the sheriff seeks the support of all her employees, she finds satisfaction knowing, as indicated by the lack of participation, the majority of BCSO employees are focused most on protecting the citizens of Bear County. Spokesman James Keith also raising some concerns tonight about how that vote was conducted, including the fact that there was no third party oversight. He also alleges that former members or former employees of the county were allowed to vote, and he also alleged that supporters of Pomerleau were locked out from taking part in that vote. We're live at the Bear County Sheriff's Office tonight. Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News.